This is the Shimano SPD SL pedals. Um, let's have a look. These haven't been opened yet, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely big book. Um, explaining the cleats and how you set them up for your shoes, where it goes. And how things clip in. As you can see there, you twist your foot to take it out. And so let's have a look at our new pedal. Now here's the funny thing, I just bought some cleats, as you can see, and what I wasn't aware is there's a set actually in the pedal bag, because <laughs> the other pedals I bought haven't had them. Um, won't kill me, uh, 13 quid, but I've now got a set of spares. Um, but basically your shoe clips in. Um, you clip your toes, front toes in first, and that will clip on the back, spring-loaded. Now, the reason I'm not going to do the spring-loaded bit is because it's going to be a nightmare to get take it back off by hand. But basically, that that's how the pedals are, how you fit them to your shoe. Um, as you can see, they're pretty nice pedals. Small, simple, well-made. Typical good quality Shimano. Um, highly recommend them. I'm going to shove them on my bike and I'll be using those later on today. Okay, so I'm going to swap the uh, pedals over. As you can see, I've got the normal pedals um, for normal shoes. Um, one thing about these, I yeah, just need the spanner. They're all the same size um, and just undo it. Remember with pedals one goes one way and one goes the other when you're undoing. One's clockwise and one's anti-clockwise because when you pedal forward if they, if they were both the same you'd actually be undoing one of them. Um, so what they're actually designed to do is pedal against. Um, okay so I'm going to fit my Shimano, new Shimano pedals. Um, what you'll find is the threads are all standard size um, so you just basically get it on the inside this side of the bike which is on the the right hand side if it's facing forward you actually to undo them go backwards anti-clockwise on the other side it's the other way around um, the reason being is that when you pedal forward well, they should be tightening tighten themselves up because if you had them both opposite ways, um, both the same way, when you were pedalling forward on the other side, um, you would actually be undoing the, the uh, pedal. Um, these are the new ones. Obviously, this is the the back, so that one is obviously the left hand side because, as you can see, that's. This is the other, the opposite direction. Just drop it in. Just hold it with your fingers at first. So as you can see, I just hold the the top there just to stop it turning, and it should just drop in. And there it goes. This is now my uh, fourth set of pedals for this year. Lots of had different types. on as simple as that and just give it a little pinch not over tight but you just want to give it a quick just so it's tight but not going to do any damage and that's that one done uh, I'll do the other side and then we'll try clipping on the shoes okay so the pedals are on and 
what I'll do is I'll lay this, lay it flat, because I'll do this with my hand and not my foot, so we can actually, I can hold the uh, phone at the same time. <laughs> now, the shoes, you're looking to try and get this front piece to slide in under here. And as you push down with your heel, so let's go through the motions, it slots in like that, so you push down, drops in, then you push down with your heel. I'll put a bit of pressure on this so you can, you can see it. It'll spring into place. As you can see, the shoe is now well and truly stuck. And that's why you need to practice this before you go and pedal out anywhere. Um, so make sure you can release your feet. Now, once it's in place, as you can see it's well locked in. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. But what you do to release it is you twist your foot outwards. So you push out with your heel basically. As you can see there's a bit of twist in there. See it? So I imagine I'm going to pull this up. Imagine that you're just turning out with your ankle. And you'll see a spring that releases the shoe. And that's basically how you get your shoe on and off. Um, first time I've tried these, so it'll be a bit interesting to see how I get on with them. But that is um, pretty much the, the shoes uh, with the cleats for the Shimano setup. Okay, thanks for watching.